Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and today's going to be a little bit of a different video. I'm going to talk about research finance of course. For those of you that don't know, don't know what it is but before we get to that just want to address a few things because I've had a nightmare of a day you know dealing with people's issues and complaints or people's advice and stuff like that on how a crypto startup should be run. Now everyone seems to be an expert and all these people, I'm going to assume, 99.9% .9 of them have never started up their own cryptocurrency, okay? Uh, this is my third run at it, you know, I'm not saying I'm super successful in crypto or anything like that, although I've done pretty well for myself. Um, what I am saying is that I've actually built up some experience and have, and have a little bit of a knowledge base around the inner workings of how it of, of how it's all run i've spent tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars making mistakes and um i'm learning from them okay um the same way i did with trading crypto i lost a whole lot of money uh learning the whole crypto techno technical analysis and you know like since then you know over time me losing that money, I would always tell my wife, you know what, I'm learning, I'm learning. You know, you can't put a price on on certain types of education when experience is involved. And, um, you know, I've made so much more money than what I've ever lost. And, um, you know, this is just another, another business, uh, another step in the business world for me. Doing your own cryptocurrency and stuff like that. So we launched RSG. Um, unfortunately, we started a day with an attack on our cryptocurrency in our telegram group uh, we started it uh, we started the day with approximately 167 to 180 members in the telegram group if you look at the telegram group at the moment it's currently down to or we're up to 55 members after somebody decided to go ahead and delete 150 members from the group as we were growing steadily um, it was an attack by somebody who tricked me or you know i'm gonna assume they tricked me right i'm just gonna say that right they convinced me to make them an admin okay um it seemed like he had good in intentions it was inviting people to the group stuff like that and then all of a sudden out of nowhere i just saw today approximately 24 hours later uh, I saw members being deleted, removed from the group by this person. This person has been removed. That person has been removed. People are just getting removed left, right and centre. Uh, it turns out that the guy actually removed 150 people before I could actually stop him and ban him forever from the group. Um, this person has since deleted his account. And I'm going to put some screenshots on the screen so you guys can see this, you know. Uh, because I kind of like deleted him banned him, deleted every single comment that he had on there. Uh, I don't have the comments, but I did take some screenshots before I did that. Um, so we started the day with an attack. Now, some people are saying that, you know, um, it's a coordinated attack from a certain other cryptocurrency because the forks have war with each other and stuff like that. I'm not accusing any, any, anyone or any project of that. However, I do know that at least one individual was involved in this and there, there were a few other people that there were some question marks about but at least one individual has been confirmed of being the covert undercover spy fodder and decided to go and delete a lot of stuff uh, did, sorry delete a lot of members out of the group hence causing this dump over here um not a heavy not a massive massive dump okay but uh still enough to cause some concern 41 percent Okay, we have since recovered, of course, and, and you know, if you weren't wondering about the drawing on my screen, I posted a post earlier to say this looks like a double bottom to me now, bearing in mind we are only on the 15 minute chart, but we do look like we're breaking this level over here. Okay, so um, might be a good time to buy RSG, support me, support the project, support the channel, you know. But anyway, going back to today's story, um, I've also been, um, there, there's been a few situations that have been resolved since this morning and I've even made a new friend who's going to help support the project. Um, it didn't start well, but, um, you know, 
I, it's like every day is a battle to um, convince people that I'm genuine, right? Some people don't do their research at first. They don't realise I'm a public figure. They don't realise that, you know, I put my name to this. You know, I actually have a name. Uh, my actual name is, is, uh, is, is my name on my Telegram group. You know, obviously, Crypto Lightsaber is my YouTube channel name. Um, everyone knows that Bubble Network was created by me. BBV was created by me, the B Valve. Uh, that didn't do so well now, and something doesn't do so well. Um, you know, everyone's always got something to say, right? Everyone's an expert. You know, it's my failures that make me successful today, right? It's the failures that I've endured and tried and tried and tried again don't make me a failure. That means that I didn't get it right the first time, right? But I will continue to try until I succeed. That's the type of person that I am. I don't let failures stop me, you know? I've had to sit down and have conversation with my wife when I was losing money in trading in the early days, in the beginning, and I was losing tens and thousands of dollars, right? And my wife would sit me down to have a chat, you know, are you sure you're doing the right thing? I'd explain that, listen, experience is what's gonna carry me through here. Like, I believe in my ability. I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. I believe that God's gonna help me. My mindset remains positive in what I'm doing, right? My failures uh, uh, do not define me. Right, they help me. They give me, uh, they 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 give me experience, and it helps me to learn not to make the same mistakes again, right? But even today, people giving me advice on how I should run the project. You know, people that have never set up a cryptocurrency themselves before, uh, people that seem to have all the answers, people that saying that this should be on Coin Gecko or that should be on Coin Market Cap or you know you should have a website here. You should do this, you should do that now. There's many factors that have to be considered. This is not my first rodeo um, in terms of building a cryptocurrency now. You could have said that before when I started at Bubble Network. You can't actually say that now. I know the process a little bit better, right? I need to have a certain amount of holders before I can apply for CoinGecko. I need to have a certain amount of volume. Sorry, we need to have a certain amount of volume. And this is another thing that I want to highlight, right? In terms of marketing, right, I'm literally constantly paying shillers, right, paying shillers. I've got shill shills all over the place, right, plenty of shills going on, plenty of shills, right, I've got all this stuff going on constantly, literally all hours of the day, people are coming at me from all over the place, asking me to shill, let's have another look at another one, got plenty of shills, right, shillers everywhere, right, shilling going on literally constantly, right, so I'm, we're constantly working behind the scenes and people are asking me uh, or trying to give me advice on how to promote. You know, they're saying I should do this or I should do that or I should spend $5,000 on a AMA with some group that has bots and fake members or I should be paying 5 k for a video for some YouTuber that literally saves us right to the end and glosses over our project like it's nothing and doesn't show any real interest and actually doesn't bring any buyers in or another YouTuber that completely ignores us or another YouTuber that does a video, the coin pumps and it comes straight back down again because there's no real buyers coming into the space. Everyone's looking to make a quick buck, right? There's lots of people that have opinions about how I should do things, right? And I'm normally very silent, but today I've been on a rant and I've literally been answering everybody, right? I've been going back and forth with people um, and, you know, it does get a little bit draining. It gets a bit annoying that the fact that because I'm a public figure and I'm not anonymous, right? Because I'm a public dev of a project, right? And I'm not anonymous. People actually assume that I need to explain every move that I make and every... Uh, little bit of inside information about what meetings I'm having in my businesses or or people have got an opinion about what videos I should be making on YouTube that I should not be talking about any other project except for Bubble Network or except for B, the, the Bubble Valve or except for RSG. I can't talk about Chainlink. How absurd is it that he's talking about other projects uh, and he, he's got his own projects? Like, sorry... The YouTube channel is a separate entity to anything else that I'm doing, right? Why should I end this rev revenue stream? The place that got me here in the first place, right? The very uh, YouTube channel 
that got me a reputation in crypto in the first place, right? By leading people to projects, to hot projects, uh, helping lots of people to make lots and lots of money. The amount of people that have thanked me, and I don't say this to boast, right? Because at the end of the day, I'm just a normal guy like everybody else trying to, you know, uh, live out my dreams, tr trying to achieve goals and trying to achieve success through cryptocurrency, right? One of the reasons why I started up my own project is because I was fed up of the rug pulls, but yet I have to constantly convince people that it's not a rug pull because people don't want to do their own research. They want to join Telegram groups, ask loads of questions. They don't want to read anything. This is the generation that we live in. People don't want to read. They don't want to do their own research. They want to watch videos. And I'm not knocking that because I make videos and I learn a lot through watching videos and everybody learns differently. But people don't want to take the time to read up on the investments that they're investing in and then when they make an investment that they wish they wouldn't have or they wish they knew something before they look for somebody to blame right that's not the way it's supposed to be done guys okay um there's many things that i wanted to address in this video but but there's so much that you know it's, it's hard to remember everything to be honest i don't want to want this to seem like a complaint I'd, I'd rather it seem like, you know, an address, okay? I'm addressing certain things so that people can actually become educated about what it takes in this space or what it takes for me to do what I'm doing, you know, or, or learn a little bit more about exactly where my mindset is and the strategies that I'm using. I don't need to explain everything to everybody all of the time. I'm trying my best to produce, to produce results, okay? And it's not always going to happen the way you expect it to happen, okay? I believe that Twitter's dead. I'm seeing countless people leaving Twitter to come over to Telegram. We're crypto people. Twitter are censoring people. They're censoring presidents of whole entire countries. Like, you know, people are leaving Twitter, you know, to, to use things like Telegram or, or Signal. Or, or you know things like that you know I don't, I don't really know what signal is i might even be incorrect there but telegram uh, i mean i can only tell by my own experience where in the past couple of weeks alone um i started to wonder how come so many people in my contact groups are joining telegram so many people in my phone book i'm getting notification after notification this person joined telegram that person joined telegram my brother joined telegram uh do, do, do you know what i mean friends family members so many people are joining telegram and I, I did some research and i i found that you know several hundreds of millions of people had maybe left whatsapp and come over to telegram um um and, and all that sort of thing right you know why do i need to go and then open a twitter account i mean for bubble network for example there is only around 200 subscribers or, or followers whatever you call them on twitter um on our Twitter account, okay, but in the Telegram group, there's over 800 something members, which is not a lot, I wish it was a lot more, but, you know, like, guys, I'm taking the information that's being presented to me, I'm looking at the statistics, and I'm taking the energy that it takes to run those things, and I'm focusing it elsewhere in the places that matters, in the, in the, in the places that matter, sorry, okay, so I'm using my experiences to not make the same mistakes, okay, there's people that have done work for us that we've that I've had to kind of dismiss or let go or not use again because they haven't performed in the way that I would have hoped. There's money that I spent before uh, on marketing, marketing budgets that came out of pre-sales that you guys actually invested in, and uh, where I've spent it on videos that people that turned out to be scammers or people that turned out to have fake volume or people that turned out, do you know what I mean? And I've tried to take those experiences and not make the same mistakes again because it's costing me money. It's costing everybody money, right? Because this is money that could have been spent a little bit more wisely. But wisdom comes from experience sometimes. It comes from learning. It comes from going through the fire and coming out refined, okay? So, you know, research finance. Right, research is, is, is coming back, we're coming back, right, I believe that this project has some promise, okay, obviously it's an RFI fork, 
and you know I've been on a little bit of a rant so it doesn't really feel right to just get into the whole technical side of things at the moment but guys I want you to check out RSG come over into the telegram group and join us okay um, the members that were banned by that guy Fog King who's deleted his account since um, I might have deleted it from here as well but yeah I mean in, in fact I might have yeah I will put some screenshots on the screen if I haven't done already by the time you got to this video um, you got to this part of the video but you know guys I need support at the end of the day people expect me to be uh, doing all of the marketing which is fine I understand that to some extent but one thing I want to explain is that crypto any crypto that was successful had a community behind it link had the link marines XRP's got the XRP army Bitcoin's got the Bitcoin maximalists, you know, and there's several other projects out there that have a big community. And these people are continuously that they're making videos about uh, uh, Wise, for example, what right? Wise um, has got a nice community behind it now. People are making videos about Wise. They're making independent websites about Wise. They're making, you know, th there's one guy here which I can't knock. Right? He's created a Twitter page for research finance now in the beginning I thought what's this guy doing he actually put my picture the my face from one of my videos as the picture for the Twitter account right and I kindly messaged him and said look please make it make people aware that this is unofficial uh, unofficial and that uh, you know I, I don't mind I'm, I'm sure you've got no bad intentions it says black owned and black operated now I'm black clearly right but you know really i'm not about that yeah I, I i like to see black people becoming successful and doing their thing but it's not all about that for me yeah um good business is good business whether you're black white asian uh uh you know uh whatever right mixed race like it doesn't matter to me right good business is good business if it's good business if it's good business business i will spend money with you yeah uh, i don't want to and, and a good businessman doesn't limit himself to only black yeah to black owned i mean if, if all you want is black customers then go ahead and do that but me everyone's a customer like i don't really care right um i love everybody you know uh, like i said I'm, I'm a born again believer in jesus christ i don't believe in racism i believe in equality and all that sort of stuff right so for me like to put my face to that and, and put these things it's not really my agenda okay but i see that this person is trying to do something positive right they're doing something. This is what community is about. Take an initiative. We don't have a Twitter account. It was telling me, go and create a Twitter account. Now, I, I don't want to waste my time with Twitter. Right? I don't want to waste my time with Twitter. I've seen the results they produce for Bubble Network. Maybe it's just me and I'm not great at marketing. I can accept that. I'm not good at Twitter marketing. I'm better at Telegram marketing. Right? I know how to pay shillers and use the money uh, uh, wisely to get the shilling out and get people spreading the word. Yes, some might look at it like it's spam, but you know, if it produces results in the beginning, it produces results. And guess what? You know, the fundamentals will follow. People will see that, that there's a great project with great tokenomics, if they have any sense. And, you know, uh, the group will grow naturally and organically and thereafter. Okay, but this is what it's about. Yeah, if we look at Wise Token, people are going and creating independent websites. They are sharing about Wise. Several YouTubers have dedicated their whole YouTube channel to talking about Wise. Okay, so... Uh, the point that I'm making is that let's just go back to the chart because it's moving up like I said it would the point that I'm making is that it's a community effort everybody who owns some of the tokens are the investors everybody that, who owns some of the tokens I mean if we're talking about decentralized finance unless you this, you want this to be a centralized token right or any of my tokens right because I launched them on Uniswap which is a decentralized exchange you are the the owners of the business we are all the owners of the business we all have something to gain with price appreciation we all have something to lose if the price goes down so stop coming at me telling me what i should do and what i should do and what i should do if you've got an idea fair enough please don't tell me what i should be doing right because i've got a little bit more experience than you and not only that you should take initiative right or don't invest okay nobody's forcing anybody to invest right you see the tokenomics that's enough to make you invest right share it okay now this is one of the problems we've had with bubble network the fact that people are not sharing it 
right? With BBV, the price dumped, okay? That's nothing to do with me. The price, somebody decided to buy. Now, it might be something to do with me for the simple fact that I offered a free X return on the project. Something I'm learning from at the end of the day, I still think it was good to be able to uh, uh, get people to invest in the first place. You got to give people a reason to invest. But somebody decided right at the end to come in with around 15 Ethereum on a low cap coin it listed at 3x and they dumped it all the way down and then what happens when somebody sells everyone else starts selling uh, start selling so then you get the snowball effect and you get the cascading effect and you get the long red candles multiple candles because everybody's panic selling and coming out instead of staking their tokens to get one percent a day rewards there's nothing i can do about that that's the uh the that's the uh that's the uh the herd mentality right they see it selling just like this, and then what do you you get a continuation because people are looking for that that uh, a chance to get out. Like RSG when it went up from the beginning, right? It went up approximately seven hundred percent, right? Seven hundred percent out the gate. I won't say that that w wasn't a successful launch. I'd say that's a very successful launch. But people were going to end up selling some tokens, taking some profit at those prices. It's going to happen if you're up seven hundred percent. I'll be saying it. On the channel for ages as a trader right take some something off the table guys you know but what happened it come down and it and it got a bounce some people were looking to buy the dip they bought the dip some people were looking for the bounce to get a second chance at selling out double top they sold out okay it comes down again and then you get another continuation then you get this the next wave of people buying it up that possibly would have continued up if we didn't get that FUD where 150 members of the group were erased out of nowhere, right? And we got this candle. However, it recovered. People saw that it was a coordinated attack. Many people feel that this actually helps us. You know, this actually gives us credibility for the simple fact that people are out there to destroy it, right? People are going on Twitter trying to defame the name or, or, or whatever, right? I'm a scammer. I'm a scammer because we have a marketing fund. There's a dev wallet that has, there's a whale that has, X amount of RSG scammer. How are we supposed to promote the project if we don't have a marketing fund? This is how narrow-minded and uneducated and, and lacking in business acumen some people actually are. And what they rather do uh, is cause FUD and try to destroy something that's legit. And they'd rather go and invest in an anonymous project and nobody knows who they are and you know the rest is history you know we have rug pulls we have uh, <laughs> all sorts of crazy stuff going on in the crypto space i could show you one of my wallets the amount of times that i've been scammed i'm not no different to you i'm worried about the rug pulls too i'm not with coins like this that i created myself because i created it right i put my face to it okay so i just wanted to get that off my chest you know guys uh so, you know, I appreciate everyone who supports me. Uh, you know, you guys are great, man. Fantastic. Like, um, you know, uh, one more thing I will address. I get a lot of hate on YouTube. I get trolls, trolls coming at me. Uh, another guy thinks I'm selfish for promoting my own referral links on my YouTube videos. Why are you promoting your own referral links? That's a bit selfish, isn't it? Why am I promoting my own referral links on my own YouTube channel? That's selfish. You get 10% extra shares in Wise, for example, for using my referral link. Yes, I get something from it, yeah? You don't have to use my referral link. Nobody's begging you to. But whose referral link should I promote on my YouTube channel? Should I refer, uh, promote somebody else's referral link? You know? It's beyond me, right? I have people cursing me to hell. People say, using all sorts of obscene language. And I, I don't swear. Like, I don't talk to people like that. I don't go around calling people names or, you know, even if I get into a heated debate, I'm, I try to remain respectful. Anyone would tell you that. Nobody can tell you anything otherwise, you know. You just ask about. Go in the Telegram group and find out, guys. So, yeah, I mean, guys, it's, this is what's wrong with the world today, man. This is what's wrong with social media. And, you know, I'm going to continue to make videos. I'm not going to let the trolls and the fodders and the spammers and the, you know, complainers and the, you know, uh, the haters, 
some like to call them, I'm not going to let them bring me down. I'm just going to continue to do what I'm doing to the best of my ability and try to remain positive. But I think it was about time that I made a video to address some of these things because I am trying my best, right? And this is just another project that I'm trying to do. You know, we decided to do, do a fork this time. We the, the tokenomics on this token, for me, are just incredible. It's one of the lowest supply RFI forks, if not the lowest supply RFI fork in the game why is there not a website you don't need a website all it needs is a medium article most of these crypto projects it's lies man it is lies they have a website and that's all it is like it's it's literally mirrors everything that it says in a medium article you i don't need to pay a subscription on a yearly basis to write a medium article i can do it for free right um if you want some fancy pictures and a moving background I mean, you're not going to even use it. There's nothing you can do on it. I'm not selling. Ad I'm not selling advertising on it. I'm not doing anything. It doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't do anything for the the company, anything for the community. Unless you're staking, which is why we created the staking interface for B Valve, right? Unless you're staking, you you need your own interface. There's really no need for a website. Everyone's hung up on this image this illusion yeah a lot of cryptos out here they're saying what's the use case what's the use case 99 percent of cryptos don't actually do anything at all at all right they have a community behind it that backs it which causes it to pump what does xrp do nothing peer-to-peer -peer transactions the same as what bobble does peer to be peer transactions right what does bitcoin do store value peer-to-peer -peer transactions what does cardano do how many of you guys invest in governance tokens and actually vote we have to start seeing sense man we have to start putting two and two together and looking at do you know what this is a community-based network bubble network rsg all that sort of stuff in the original concept it was something created by the people for the people by the people meaning me right i am one of you I'm just a normal person. I am not some Silicon Valley millionaire or billionaire like you know some like some of these other project owners. I'm not. I can't compete with them either. I don't have as deep pockets as them, right? And you know, there's not really much else I can say, guys. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Let me know in the comments how you feel about what I'm saying. There's going to be some negatives. There's going to be some positives. There's people that support me. There's people that don't support me. I can't change that right but i definitely won't change me in terms of what i'm doing here because i am being honest i'm being public i'm trying to give people explanations as best as i can but it really annoys me when people feel like i owe them an explanation and literally with everything because they're insecure because they help, don't have trust now granted there's rug pulls and people have lost money. I understand to some extent people are going to have questions and they're going to be curious and they're going to be a little bit uh, apprehensive or weary about investing. That's normal. There's nothing wrong with that. That's healthy for you to have that. But at the same time, I find myself under attack sometimes by people using obscene language, being extremely unreasonable, unwilling to see sense or reason unwilling to understand my perspective and where i'm coming from and it has to stop guys we need to wake up because the crypto community is just it's, it's getting worse like people are just becoming trolls they just it's it's got to stop man so yeah that's about it for now guys if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe like and comment i promise not every video is like this okay rsg we can see it's got a double bottom it's got a double bottom and um, we're actually breaking out of this so we're going to put in a higher high as we speak okay double bottom and a higher high uh, we just need to put in higher lows okay continue up take out this high over here and the rest is history all right guys so i will see you in the next video